Well, well, well. Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you something interesting and I'm gonna talk about this book, which is called Design of Data. And it's a UX specific O'Reilly book, one of animal covers, which I just wanna share five key takeaways, which I found really interesting, which and which I think can benefit anyone. Again, this is like a really condensed book and it has a lot of different takeaways and you should actually pick up and read it. But let's dive in into just five key ideas which I picked out and I want to share with you. Number one, there are three different types of working with data. So this book lists three different things. One is data-driven design, another one is data-informed, lastly is data-aware. It's kind of like an, if you could imagine an onion, one thing builds on top of the other. So for example, the data-driven design is probably like a core, which is, you could imagine like a train going one direction, which is specific and you know exactly what you're gonna get out of it. The second layer of the onion would be data-informed design or let's say data-informed approach to design. And it's a second layer, which is basically like you have multiple directions and multiple different trains going different journeys and you have a lot of data points. And lastly, you have a bigger layer, which basically sums up all of those things, which this book focuses most is data aware and experimental culture. And data aware design is basically Imagine if you have a globe or a transport network which has lots of different transportation options, trains, roads, and they all align to make a better experience for the end user and adapts and makes new networks, new roads, new train tracks, depend on where, let's say, new organisms uh, are, are clustered or new locations pop out, they need to adapt and that network arranges. And that's exactly what uh, designing with data is about. So we're gonna be all data aware. Number two takeaway, which I found interesting, is how much data is enough data, how you can run an unlimited amount of experiments in your work and find out different key takeaways from people you want to address before you're, it's good enough. One of the examples listed in a book is a Nielsen Norman group approach to user testing where you have just five people per user group, which gives you around 85% of all the usability problems. One of the approaches like that, so let's say if you know exactly how many people you need to include in your specific sample for a specific experiment, you're gonna know exactly what's the likelihood of it being correct and causal. Uh, number three, really interesting framework of how to design of data. It's a five-step approach. Number one is to define a goal and exactly what you want to achieve. Number two is understand what's the opportunity like and what area you can approach with it and and kind of outline it number three is to come up with a hypothesis so exactly you know what you're gonna do why you're gonna do and what's gonna be an outcome in a really high level number four it's to create a test based on that hypothesis and all these four steps would always have some sort of data input from what you know so far and what you're gonna discover. And then number five, the last step, is basically when you're gonna get that data output and when you're gonna check the results and analyze if you need to run additional experiment or if the experiment was successful and you need to implement and roll out your design features. Now, all these bits can be added to, let's say, A-B test, multivariate test, or any other tests, but it's always about being data aware. What I found really interesting in this book is the fourth takeaway, which basically states how your design decisions can impact your data. An example was the guy online back in the day where we made massive, huge red button saying sign up, which took 50% of the fault space. There were a lot of signups based on that button. Other people actually stared away from other features and they're not as obvious or persuasive. So that skews overall data and all other experiments because if you focus so heavily on just one thing and you make it so massive, naturally all other things are gonna slack and be behind. Last takeaway from this book is the importance of the experimental culture. Again, the book is a treasure trove and it's really heavy in all the tips, specific tactics and strategies of how to approach your experiments and data experiments and how to inform your design decisions. One of the most important bits here is that you have to foster the design aware culture and that everyone in your group 
your team is a design guy. You have to talk to marketers, data analysts, data scientists, and you have to work together in order to make better experiments and in order to reflect on your design decisions and then make it user-centered, which is your role as a UX designer to bring that to a table. You always have to be flexible enough to have an experimental mindset because that means basically that whatever you discover in your data is correct until you've proven it wrong and that's the definition of a hypothesis driven approach where you come up with a hypothesis what could be and see exactly what happens and then iterate keep on making changes and running those experiments hope you found this video interesting and a bit different it's really quick five takeaways from this book and if you have any questions leave a comment down below subscribe to this channel like this video share with your friends and i'll see you next time